It's quiet, safe, comfortable and extremely economical to run. Volvo Cars has taken the next step in its development of electrified cars and now presents a completely electrically driven C30 that is exceptionally environment friendly to drive. The C30 electric that is as yet only in the concept stage can be driven 150 kilometers on a single charge. This actually means that 90% of Europe's motorists could accomplish their daily motoring needs with this car. The strength of the C30 is of course that it's the first electrical vehicle from Volvo Car Corporation. And uh, another advantage is of course that for the first time we'll be able to offer a product which actually emits zero emission in city traffic. One of the advantages of an electric car is of course that it is incredibly cheap to run. In this particular case, we're talking about a running cost of three euros per hundred kilometers, which equates to only one third of the cost compared to diesel. Another advantage is that this car can be charged from a completely normal power outlet. In just eight hours, the car is fully charged again. And if the car is charged with electricity from a renewable source, the environmental gains are considerable. But the biggest advantage with this car is, of course, that it's zero emitting. So it's not emitting either carbon dioxide or other components in the city traffic and that is of course for the environment a fantastic advantage. Volvo Cars chose to use an existing model when this electric car was to be developed. Partly because the Volvo C30 functions so well in big city traffic, where electric car traffic is expected to increase most in the near future, and also because Volvo wants to develop an electric car with a high standard of comfort for a driver and three passengers and all their luggage. Volvo also demanded that the C30 electric should have the same high safety factor as all other Volvo cars. Of course we have to uh, consider different aspects when it comes to this new technology but the safety, is the safety level uh, in real life traffic is the same. Despite the fact that this is environmentally adapted technology of the future, there are certain challenges connected with driving around with a 280 kilo high tension battery in the car. A fact that the experts at Volvo have, of course, been very aware of. Well, there's always risks when you're out in, in traffic, and of course that's what we're taking into consideration. Uh, this kind of technology have different aspects that we need to consider, but of course it will be as safe as any other type of, of Volvo or any other C30. Today there are only a few thousand electric cars in the whole of Europe. But this is a market that is expected to grow astronomically over the next few years, according to Richard Bremner, who is the editor of Clean Green Cars in the UK. He is convinced that within a few years it will become all the rage to drive an environment-friendly electric car. I think potentially it could be because the car manufacturers are introducing much more desirable electric cars than have been so far. What we've seen so far has been really rather ugly and inadequate cars um, whose only merit is that they're electric. Richard is impressed with Volvo's electric car. The car accelerates from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in less than 11 seconds and fully charged has a top speed of 130 kilometers an hour. Well, I, I think the C30 particularly is quite an interesting car to use for this because it, the car is packaged in electric form as a city commuter car, but the C30 is a coupe, it's very attractive. You'd be very happy to be driving around town in a car that looked like that with the convenience features that it's got. So I think it could work quite well. As early as next year, Volvo Cars hopes to have a test fleet of electric cars in order to be able to actively study how these cars are used. And here we will investigate the uh, various impacts in terms of battery life, battery capacity, versus how you use the car, the topography, and also the climate. 